Last time on Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, I killed her. Him. I killed him. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, I, I had something I was gonna say at first and I forgot. Oh yeah, um, so last episode we beat Marth, who I totally called a man the whole time. Um... <laughs> You guys were saying that Marth is pretty androgynous, and you guys are correct about that. Um, another thing I wanted to point out, just a few things. Uh, I remember a few episodes ago, one person, I don't remember who it was, someone was like, when I was pointing out the fact that Sumia found a Pegasus with full armor on, they were like, oh yeah, it's because of more of Awakening shitty writing, and uh, I'm actually not going to agree with that. Not that Awakening has some writing issues uh, from my memory, but... The fact that that was on the writing team's fault. Now, that's a weird thing to latch on to, but I, I feel like I must give credit where credit is due. Usually, this is a miscommunication, perhaps, between the art team and the writing team. Uh, because what happens, and this happened in the Telltale Borderlands series, too. Uh, an example there is in the Telltale Borderlands series, which I highly recommend you play if you are looking for a good laugh. It is the funniest video game I have ever played, Borderlands knowledge or no. But uh, there's a scene in there where the writers wrote down, I want him to flip off the monitor. And then they read that, and what they meant is, I want him to switch off the monitor, like with a remote. But what they actually came back with on the animation team was the character running by a bunch of monitors and flip and giving it the middle finger. <laughs> Which I think is a hilarious story, and things do happen like that uh, when translating a script to the art team, and sometimes it doesn't quite come through. Although, that feels like something they probably should have noticed really early on, but then again, it's like telling your artist, Hey, I want you to redraw all this, because uh, it makes no sense. But anyways, um, another thing. Uh, you know what, I'll wait till I get to the menu for all of this spiel. If you're wondering why we're in the middle of a cutscene, when last time I just saved, it's because it auto-moved me back to the last area so we could talk to Emerin. Then Regina Fox will support you, Lise. Thank you, Krom. I knew sending you was the right choice, because apparently there's no one else to send. Seriously, that's one thing I always find weird about Fire Emblem games, is you hardly ever see, like, what is become of the other forces of your nation. Like, it's like you are solely, you're the sole unit of your entire country, always. Except for in some of the other games, but like, eh. Mm. Oh god, that's loud. <laughs> Because there's no sound going on, so I just heard Krom go, hmm, <laughs> super loudly. You should see Ferox's warriors. Perhaps now our people will be safe from... ...and disaster strikes, with bad news incoming. Your grace. Oh, by the way, you guys told me that Fila isn't a playable character in this game? Are you serious? Because, like, out of all the female Awakening characters in my memory, she's my favorite one. At least, aesthetically, and what they look like. She looks rad. She would be an S rank for me instantly if she was playable. Your Grace, my lord, forgive me, but I bring alarming news. What's happened? Fila, slow down, please. What's happened? Right away. Plegian soldiers have been sighted inside our southwest border. They attacked a village in Them Themis and abducted the Duke's daughter. <gasps> but but that would be Maribel! Krom, we have to do something. <sighs> There's more. King Gangrel of Plegia claims Lady Mirabel invaded his country. He demands we pay preparations for this insult. Gods! And we're to believe a dastard like the Mad King of Plegia? Enough. Peace, Krom. We must keep our wits about us. Still. We should put a sword in his gun and be done with it. I, I never remembered Krom being this aggressive, but I kind of like it. The Mad King has been trying to provoke war with Ulysse at every step. He won't stop until he drags his whole continent to hell with him. Yes, my lord. I agree with the prince, your grace. We must demonstrate to Plegia that such actions have consequences. I do understand your feelings, Krom. I truly do. Because for some reason, someone who's dubbed the Mad King I do not want to take down. But if we give him the war he wants, then we lose. No matter what the outcome. Our last conflict nearly ruined the Haladim. It left Ulysseans homeless and starving. We cannot repeat that mistake. I will offer parlay, I will offer parlay with King Gangrel. <gasps> yeah, you know, someone whose last name is close to gangrene. <laughs> Probably trustworthy. 
Uh, no, you can't. Oh, Please M, reconsider. not like just a random noise she made, like a nickname. Please reconsider, Your Grace. He cannot be trusted to act in good faith. What? No, I'm sure the Mad King will act perfectly rationally to my peace talks. So either we choose to march to war or leave Lady Mirabelle to die? No, I will not accept that. Very well. Forgive me, Your Grace, I spoke out of turn. You know, when you have like three different people telling you, hey, we should probably just, you know, go attack and all of your advisors want to do that, you're just like, no, that won't work. <laughs> I know you will stand always by your own principles. Pray, allow the Pegasus Knights to accompany you, though. This is how you get usurped, like... Have you even stared at Princess Alencia? Remember what happened to her? Oh, that's right, because apparently this game is linked to all the other games somehow. So you should know. Somehow. <laughs> I'm still unclear on that. I'm going too. Someone has to save you from your good intentions. Mm -hmm. And I want to be there for you, and Mirabelle. <laughs> As you wish. Thank you all. Your strength will be mine. I'm very glad that they kept uh, Onex out of that scene, because it wouldn't really make sense to have Onex be allowed to see the Queen for, like, no reason whatsoever. Are you ready? Well, then, is everyone ready to go? It's a long march through the western mountains to the Plegian border. Oh, hey! C Captain, I'm, I'm all packed. When do we leave? <clears throat> With you, Rickon, we never leave. You're not going anywhere. Rick, and how did you... Go back inside. You're not old enough for this mission. <laughs> I didn't remember him saying that. I remember him saying Rick and couldn't come. Like, perhaps, oh, you're not that experienced of a mage. But Crumbs is like, no, you're a baby. Go back inside and cry like the child you are. Go back and play Fortnite with your friends, Rick. <laughs> but Captain... You know my skill with magic. You know how I can handle myself. <sighs> it feels safer with your magic here, protecting the garrison. All right, we're off. Then, be good. Hey! Be good? Gods, how old does he think I am? Well, I'll show him just how good I can be. When I first saw that scene, I must have thought Rickon was evil or something. <laughs> so we just unlocked the Outrealm Gate, which is to all the DLC stuff, which I may or may not do, I don't know. Depends on how interested people are in the series by episode 20-whatever. <laughs> or 30. I think there's actually, uh, 25 chapters in this game, not counting the first two, which are, like, one that's not named and then the paralogue. So, if I do a chapter per episode, we'll be done in probably like 30-something episodes, I imagine. Anyways, uh, this upcoming map is my least favorite map in the entire game. I hate it. Um, this is the one that caused me to quit Fire Emblem entirely. Uh, because remember, Awakening was my first game, and if you're playing this on hard mode for the first time, this map is hell, in my opinion. Like, you have too many things coming at you, you get flying units introduced to you in some of the worst ways I've ever seen. Like, for one second you're just like, I'm getting pretty good at this Fire Emblem thing, and the next second it's like, oh my god, I'm dying by dragons. <laughs> um, but we're not gonna do that quite yet, because I believe in order to rescue Mirabelle, you actually need the staff from this chapter. Because I think there's a warp staff you get from Donald's chapter if you, uh get to the chest before the thieves can. Um, also, we have an Anna who's selling things over here, who is probably my favorite character in this game. <laughs> Just cause like, I don't know, this is my favorite rendition of Anna in anything. Oh, come on in. Plus when I first saw her, I'm like, oh my god, cute shopkeeper girl. Can I not have a game about her instead? <laughs> and she also is selling things that are on sale. I know that sounds redundant, but I mean they're, they're discounted. Uh, Right now, the only thing she's really selling that I'm interested in is probably this hammer. Because getting a second hammer would be nice, so I'm going to purchase that. Uh, as for anything else... What do we really need? Uh, we have an extra iron sword that Sully can't use, I guess. We still have Salef's sword. 
Stahl doesn't even have a uh, iron lance yet, or an iron sword, so I'm going to get him one of those. And also, there's forging in this game, which I don't recall using even once. And sadly, you cannot forge the falchion. But you can forge the rapier if you so choose. Um, or any, pretty much any weapon in the game that's not infinite. But it costs a lot of money, so you have to be kind of careful with how you uh, decide to go about forging. I usually don't forge anything this early on. Um, unless I buy, like, a brand new tome or something. See you later, Anna. Uh, we can still buy things from towns, by the way. Uh, speaking of that, I need to get another heal stave. For... Lisa? Oh, what? Oh, I picked up another one. Oh, wait, no, this is the new one. So, she has one now. That's cool. And... Oh, I forgot, we have Long Crew now, who we'll take a look at in a sec. But... I don't think I have anything I want to sell. So... Cool. And lastly, I want to buy some tomes from here, but there's a guy sitting on top of it. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that, I guess. Um, no, you know what? I want another Thunder Tome. I carry only the because finest. tomes aren't trained by element in here. It's just a total uh, tome skill. So I think that's the one that Muriel already has. So I want one too. So uh, supports, we have one between Onex and Muriel because they've been hanging out a lot. Mainly because Onyx raises her magic, so. Uh, How disappointing. Hey. That looked like a pretty bad spill, Muriel. Are you hurt? Very well. A minor con con Oh god, you guys said I have to get used to this. A minor contusion benign? <laughs> <sighs> Everything you were carrying went flying. I see your herbs and papers, a what's this? A book? A journal? Uh, Unhand that, sir. Oh. Sorry, sorry, I didn't realize it was so important. Mm -hmm. Important, hmm? Huh? Muriel? <laughs> right. I suppose it does bear some import, yes. It's a lodestar of sorts. One that points the way to the truth. Wow. Wow, who wrote it? A famous mage or something? No. Not famous at all, no. The author was my mother. Yeah. Ah, that explains the rough binding, or no offense intended. Still, that was, that's amazing. Your mother was a mage as well, or perhaps a scientist. I really don't know what the difference is at this point. Hmm. What What is the impetus for your inquiry? Huh? Impetus for my... Why do you say such big words? I can't even read the book. Stop being so mad. You mean, why do I ask? Oh god, what if, like... What if Robin couldn't actually read the tomes he was using? <laughs> it's like, Robin, we developed some new tomes for you to use. He's like, oh, that's, uh... That's great, just put it over there. <laughs> just like in the dead of night, Robin's just practicing out, like practicing spells. He's like, oh, maybe I can use this without burning a rainforest. <laughs> or I don't know, I'm curious. Wouldn't most people be? Hmm? An, auto an autonomic reaction to conversa conversational stimulus, I see. Um, um, did I say something strange? No. Curious, perhaps meriting closer study, certainly. Spontaneous reactive curiosity. Fascinating. But what is the underlying mechanism? <sighs> um, I, uh... I, I eat cereal. It's the most important meal of the day. It's what gets me up. I, I think you're reading too much into this. <laughs> She's studying Onex like some sort of, uh... Like some sort of lab rat. Although that might be how she just sees everyone, for all I know. Okay, and we also have the barracks now. Which, I don't remember what this does, but I think people just kind of walk around and you get stuff for free, so that works for me. You never seem bored, do you? How do you spend your rainy days? I better my swordsmanship, nothing else. They have kind of the same voice. I'll work on Fredericks a little. How come you vanish after each battle? Do you have a hobby or whatever? Usually, I'm maintaining my weapons or training, but I go on walks, too. What fine hobbies? You seem to be in a fine mood. Was bear meat- was bear meat- bear meat on the menu today. Oh no, I just had a good meal, that's all. Wanna eat together next time? That was a semi-normal conversation. Hey, you look like you're in good spirits. Just finished some secret training. Oh no, I just had a good meal. <laughs> Stall just never stops eating. Uh, 
I want this third one to be stalled too. Oh no, it's just Onex walking around. <laughs> He's like, how, how did this building pop up in our camp? I mean, we set up tents and then Frederick set up a brick house somehow. Hmm, what's this? Perhaps we could use it. <laughs> now I have Sailor's Blade and Sigurd's Lance. Wonderful. Good thing this house was built with a sacred lance just lying on the floor. Okay, well, now let's do J Donald's chapter, which I believe the requirement is that you have to get Donald to kill a certain amount of people. Oh, and you guys did tell me not to use the DLC weapons because they're too OP, but I can use DLC characters if I want. So I'll, I'll think about that. Because um, we're probably definitely going to use Neff, although I'm probably going to reclass her to something else. Because I probably won't need a knight. Because I probably am going to use like a child unit knight thing. Help! You got you gots to help us. I'm begging you, my lords. Sorry for this horrible accent I'm about to pull off with Donald. Then again, are any of my voices good? Slow down. What happened? Boy, there's a wee piglet. Great. Bandits. <laughs> he just sounds so tired of it, the way I made that sound. He's just like, oh, again, who could have guessed? Bandits in the first quarter of the game. <laughs> What's this? The little lordling came to watch over the ch his chattel? I'm surprised he even knows what that means. Oh, damn me. Sh shepherds. <laughs> That's right. So what will it be? Run and live or fight and die? <laughs> Listen. Quickly, lad, what happened here? <laughs> uh, yes, my lord. Right away, my lord. Or if it pleases your graciousness. You all right? Maybe just hold off on the titles for now. What's your name? Donnie. Uh, uh that is Donald. Oh, okay. I guess he said his name. Donnie, that, or that's Donald. Your majesty full. <laughs> I live in the village just beyond, sir. <sighs> I guess I'll do that. I guess that'll do. Now what happened? You know, one thing I didn't remember about Awakening's writing is how, uh, it, it's actually getting me to chuckle a bit every once in a while, and I don't remember that about it. <sighs> that rotten tooth pig stinking bandit you just ran off attacked us. And pardon my language, your lordliness. I'm the only one... Wait, I'm... Oh, ah, I'm the only one what got away, and even then just barely. They were rounded up the others to haul them off to a bandit camp. Please, sir, you got to save them, folks. M Ma's one of them, and... She's all I got in this world. Please, your royal highness. God! This blasted war seems to spawn more evils by the day. I'm actually very confused right now, Krom. Why is there more... Why are you blaming this on banditry when we aren't sending any units out to go fight the war? You're saying this like we don't have enough people to protect the towns because they're at war, but Emeryn won't allow us to do a war, so how does this even relate? All right, Donnie, we'll save your ma. Can you lead us to her? I owe you. Oh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Just follow me, your sirness. Hey. And you're sure of this? Right. On the grave of my sainted mother, I swear it. It was Crom and his shepherds, and no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> a fancy lord will fetch a high ransom from noble folk. We'll have that little man squealing for mercy in no time. We got nothing left to take, sirs. Please let our children go. What? Quit your bleating. What? I'm surprised that, like, I don't know. Like, how do I say this? These are, like, the most generic-looking bandits I've ever seen in anything. Um, no, they're not that generic. They actually have, like, a little expression, but... I feel like they'd get tired of what generic bandits look like after a while, though. I don't know. Oh, ironic. I think this cow's the mum of a brat what ran away. Say, I know this one. You're the wife of the man what broke my rib last time we were here. Oh. And you killed him for it, monster. I wish he'd done- I wish he'd done for you first. I'm starting to see a horrific trend. I don't remember what happened to all the other villagers and all the other Fire Emblem games, like Amelia and all that. Is that the theme I'm thinking of? Probably. But is there just a trend of, like, the villager only can join because all of their family dies? This just kind of popped in my head, but the same was for Mozu. I don't remember about Amelia at all, because... No, Amelia was just a soldier, as far as I know, but I didn't do any of her support, so I wouldn't know about her background. Small wonder the brats got more brass than brains if you're his mom. 
guess we'll have to see for ourselves then we when we catch him, eh? Maybe we'll ma even make you watch as we got him. Evil Lord, laugh. Help us. No, he, please, he's just a boy. <sighs> this here's where they've taken up camp, your lordshipness. Good. All right. Thanks, Donnie. Stay close for now. Huh? Beg pardon, my lord. You don't mean I, I can't fight, sir? I ain't even, even I haven't even stuck a pig before. Uh, um... Oh, sorry. I just assumed. I mean, look, just stay here. You'll be fine. <sighs> I wish I was strong as you, sirs and madams. Kick that scum out single-handed. I would. Right. Then you should fight and grow stronger. <sighs> but I ain't. Mm. No man is born a warrior, Donnie. And farm work makes for fine training. A sickle's not far from a sword, after all. Aside from the fact that it's nearly, like, horrific to use in every way and will get you killed more often than holding a sword, but whatever. Bandits may be tougher than wheat, but the principle's the same. Uh, <laughs> all right, my lord. I can fight too. As you, as you say, I'm no warrior, but these are my people. I got to do what I can. Yeah, you go, Donald. Holy shit, ready? how much dialogue do we have before the map starts? Everyone in place. Yeah. Ready up. Oh, the ready ulp, like you was gulping. Wait, why did we have to do a transition for that? That was weird. Okay, anyways, um... Man, I'm not allowed to bring that many people this time. Uh... Hmm. So let's take a look at this map real quick. Axe user, sword user... Bow guy. Yeah, as I remember, there are a lot of axe users in here because it's brigands, so it's axes and swords. So the only real disadvantage you'll be at here is if you're using an axe. So sword users we really need, and spear users would also be very helpful. Uh, bow users not so much, so I'm gonna put Virian behind here. And Kellum's nice to bait people in, and I might actually just bring him in order to... I don't know. No, I'll just bring Stall instead. He can do some nice stuff. So, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I'm just trying to sort out where I need people to be right now. Okay, at least there's no reason for you to be down there. Same for you. All right. If I can get stronger, he says, guess it can't hurt to try. I sure hope I don't get in the way. Gosh, that would just be awful. If Donnie levels up in this chapter, he will join the Shepherds. If he fails to grow, it's back to the farm for him when the battle ends. Oh, all he has to do is level up? I thought he had to get, like, four kills or something. Oh. Well, that's not nearly as bad as I thought. Um, anyways, on this first part of the map, all I have to worry about is people are gonna use swords against me. It's fine. Uh, I'm gonna keep teaming up with Muriel. I'm not saying, like, I'm gonna S support her or anything, but... You know, we make a good team right now. We support each other's weaknesses, mainly. So. It's working out pretty well. Um, we have Long Ku, who I haven't really looked at. So he's a Mirrodin. If you don't know what that means, it means he's an awesome sword guy. And it's like my favorite class in Fire Emblem. Aside from what it promotes into. But, uh, yeah. High speed. Medium strength. Low defense. It's just the general archetype for Mirrodin's. <laughs> um, what's... Sp avoid plus 10. Grants avoid plus 10. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> so... Oh, all he has is a killing edge. I really should have given him a different weapon. Um, actually, I can probably do that. Maybe. I don't want him to waste the killing edge this early on, but... At the same time, it's fine. I'll just deal with it. And Chrome also has the hammer. Probably should have done a little bit of management, but that's fine. Okay, Donnie, stay behind him. He's probably gonna kill this guy before they can do anything back. Because Killing Edge and crits. Yeah, go Donald! That's a hit. It's 5 XP for you, little guy. Okay, um... <laughs> I have to encourage him somehow, you know. So these two are going to stick together for right now. Or I could stick Krom on this guy. On, uh... You know what? Krom and Sully have been making a good team lately. And it's much more useful than the Cavalier Bros right now, honestly. Stay 
focused. There we go. You two are doing fantastically. Good growth, too. All right. Next, I can have him move up here. Good job, Stull. Now there's an archer up there, but I'm not worried about him right now because I didn't bring any flyers. And... I'm gonna stand right here with a bronze sword equipped because I don't... I could actually use an iron sword, but once again, I don't have it. And I'm gonna give it to Long Crew anyway, so... It's fine. And luckily, since he's a ranged attacker, uh, I don't have to worry about Long Crew wasting more charges on that killing edge. If I'm gonna die in the first turn because I get super unlucky against Axe users, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I was like, Onex can take two of them, and then I realized I harshly overestimated what Onex can actually do. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Um, so... If I can, I'm gonna try and get Donald a kill over here. But the main problem is that I can't let Krom do the killy kill. Eleven? How much damage can Donald even do? Four. What a wonderfully high number. I mean, maybe they won't dual attack. That'll help. Are you ready? Probably not, though. Sorry. I swear to God. I'm like, hey guys, you shouldn't dual attack, and they dual attack, and it's like, hey guys, um, perhaps you could uh, dual attack, and then they don't. <laughs> so it's like, whatever. I don't care anymore. Uh, but one thing you do have to look out for on this map, though, is I believe there's a thief. Yeah, there's a thief over here, and I think he comes over here to get these two chests. And um, one of them has the stave we need in it. Luckily, he doesn't move that fast, and he's very easy to corner once he has the item anyway. So I'm not really worried about it too much. Stay calm. So I think Muriel's getting to be around my level. I can move up her up a little. And then I can move these two up. And then stall. I can finally trade this away to him. Because he kind of needs it. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's give him the bronze sword for now. And that puts her up to level 6. Speed and resistance. Necessary for a mage, but would have preferred some magic. As I said, if you haven't watched my other Fire Emblem series, I have horrific luck with mages and them turning out awful. So, uh... Very gracious. Hence why, even though people yell at me, Hey, don't use archers. They're statistically bad. Use mages. I'm like, but I defy the odds. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. Anyways, that's that. I should be able to survive a brigand and a uh, archer, no problem, but the archer can't even reach me, so that's fine. I just can't probably survive a brigand and a thief, especially with my health as is right now. Because while I have more health than Muriel, uh, total I do not. <laughs> so perhaps I may not even do that for right now. I'm going to put... Uh, no, not yet. I can't put Long Crew right there. I don't have the health for it. We're going to focus on getting those chests. How about that? Let's get the chests first, and then we'll worry about Donnie after that. 
Because after we have the chest, this becomes more of a cakewalk. So I believe, yes, there's a pillar right here, which does the same thing as wood, so I don't really understand why it's there all that much. And the problem with these pillars is even though they, they're set up like this, they're practically just traps. <laughs> because if I use any of the pillars, that means I have to face two brigands at once, which I'm not a fan of that plan, uh, gonna be honest here. So I can put Frederick here without fear, as long as I give him... Well, he has an axe, so whatever. He has 14 defense, though. He'll be fine. Um, actually, no, I'm going to put stall with him, just in case. As for the rest of us, I need her to heal. Thanks. So that should work out. Oh no, heal finally broke. So, Krom has 11 defense right from the start. He should be fine, no matter what gets thrown at him. And I still can't really move up. No, yes I can. I can move up a little. Okay, let's see. They're attacking Krom, as I guessed. But he has ridiculous avoids right now, so he should be fine. We'll see about that. Okay. Uh, we will attack this ruffian because we can't move that far. I think Donnie Boy may be able to... Nope, not quite yet. <laughs> not quite yet. That's fine, though. Uh, Krom? I'm surprised you don't have a vulnerary sitting around. In fact, I don't think I have that many. I think I have one sitting around in the convoy, probably. No, I don't. That is surprising to me. Um, that's fine. I can switch to Sully, I guess. It's just he might have to take three different attacks if I don't. No, he'll be fine. So switch. And she can't use an iron sword, but that's how it goes. Actually, no, this would be better. So I can switch and then iron sword him. Then you guys can go down here. He's using his falchion, right? Not the rapier. Okay. Yeah, it's just his stats have gone up so much, he's starting to crit a lot. Nice growth, Sully. And then as for this, I'll be forced to... Wait, who in the world can hit these two? What? Oh, it's just the archer. I just don't have him selected. Uh, Donald, I would risk this, but I'm not going to. But he may get the killing blow. But he didn't do anything. <laughs> That's fine, though. We have plenty of enemies left. So we're going to get there in time, because I can just block off that entryway with Frederick. Because I believe if you kill the thief while he has the items on him, you still get them. So it's no big deal. Yeah, okay, so that chest has a killer lance. And then the other one has something else. So, the only thing I have to worry about is a few archers, which is no big deal, because it's these two. So I'm just going to switch to Frederick real quick to make sure he can't get out and that we survive this. 
He may just go straight for the other chest. I don't know what he's going to do. My gratitude. Oh, yeah, and you guys told me to turn off healing animation. Sure. Um, but I'm going to wait till later to do that. Mainly because... Oh, you know, I can do it right now. So we won't get another healer till next chapter, I think. And that is the healer, healer I actually plan to use. Because I liked her, but um, being as good as I am at Fire Emblem back then... Uh, one of the other healers you get really soon got killed really fast. Because I assume they could attack people. When they couldn't. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna turn off, uh, other animations for right now. So they could be attacked twice if I don't. Oh, goodness, Onax, you're so low on health right now. Oh, he has a throwing axe. That's not good. He has a zero attack against Krom. That is how tanky Krom is right now. It's a little ridiculous. And she would just double him anyway. I really want to get Donnie a kill here early on, so I don't have to worry about it too much, but... It may not happen. I also have to give Long Ku kills, but he actually starts at level 4, so... We should be fine in that department. Here we go. <laughs> now you help, Donnie. Now you help. You're all right. Now you two can run up here. Cool. I got you back. So I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough despite it only being on hard. Like, that was one of my worries going into this, is because, like, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not good enough to play this game on Lunatic. I mean, I might be if I'm willing to suffer, but, like, I can't do that. You crazy? Um, but then I was like, hopefully people decide that they enjoy the series, because I'm only playing it on hard, and it's apparently the easiest to wait, or easiest Fire Emblem game. So, they better be okay with that. <laughs> and luckily, you guys still seem to enjoy the series regardless, so that's cool. Uh, glad to hear that. Okay. So now we will try to get him some kills. Hopefully, we can do this well. I don't know. Uh, I should probably start splitting people up to avoid the instant kills, though. It's still 10 health. Wait, what? Oh, I thought she died for a second. <laughs> that scared me. I forgot we were on this little sparkle tile. Would you pair with me? Fighting in teams increases our probability of success. Certainly, I'll devise some strategies and drop by later. Cool. We're better friends now. So, if I transferred these two... So, what if I gave Donald to, uh, Sully. Would Sully raise his attack enough? Because I don't think Donald... Yeah, Donald doesn't get any attack buffs from Long Ku, so this is a bad decision. Um, well, Sully doesn't get any either from Krom. But, does Krom get any from Sully? He does, he gets a plus four. So, this may be a horrible mistake I'm about to make. Um... Wait, he only gets 7 attack? I did my math wrong there, I guess. That's fine, I guess. I'll just have to be kind of careful with how I proceed in this chapter. More XP for Sully. So I couldn't leave him like that because he would have killed Muriel, so... Oh, you know what I should do? Uh, I'm gonna separate these two. And send Krom over there. And then that should help Donald get a kill. Oh no, I turned it on simple again. There we go. <laughs> Switch these two around. Iron sword. Careful. Thanks for helping, Frederick. 
Okay, so that's that. And... That's still not a lot of damage. Never fear. Man, these archers are underpowered. Okay, um... 12, that should be enough. And since Krom won't get any assistance... Although that may be a problem too. But he should be fine against a singular archer that can't even reach him, so we're good. Okay, Donnie, here you go. Hopefully you don't mess this up. I'm right here. There you go. You did it. You're a big boy now. Yeah, maybe you guys are right. Maybe I can use our both our red and green cavalier. Because back in Radiant Dawn, I think I... No, because I had Titania too, so I used that one. I just didn't use Kieran because, you know, Kieran was such a wonderful, lucky unit that survived every map, right? <laughs> oh boy, that poor soul. All right, let's see if I can draw some of these guys out. Mind yourself. Holy shit, them growths. <laughs> Donald, is he low enough? No, he is not. Not even close. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little worried about him getting help, though. Well, actually, if he got help from Donald, that wouldn't be that bad, so... Let's get her done. I'm with you. Yeah! Go, Donald! Good job. Alright, and if I was correct... It's actually a rescue staff, not a warp staff, but we need that for the next map. Or, I'm not sure if you need it, but it definitely helps a lot. Okay, along, crew. Just to track that guy. I'll leave Donald next to you. We're gonna do some healing duty with Lissa right now. I might use two healers that or this time. That's something I normally don't do, but... Uh, you know what? We might use two, and if I decide to use Anna, which I probably will, because I have, like, a huge bias against her on her, um... That means we'll have three total. So, that'll be a pretty nice thing. Yes, exactly the amount you need, buddy. Although, I am a little worried, so let's just let him do it on his turn, because if Donald screws that up, then uh, he dies. So, let's not have that right now. Hey, Lissa, you want a rescue staff? There you go. There you go, Donnie. I think that should be his level. Yep, there we go. Now, as for if I use Doll or not, I don't know yet. Yeah, no more holding back the others, or no more holding the others back now. I might, just because I don't normally use villagers. That might be fun, too. I'll take notes from here. Yeah, let's go, Muriel. That training's going to work now. Thanks. <laughs> I was just like, thanks. No, that was just really useful compared to like two maps ago when you didn't help me at all. So Onyx is level seven. Muriel's level six. I'm trying to think of who needs experience right now. Stoll's only level four, so I feel like he really deserves XP. Same for Long Ku. Um, I want to get that thing over there. 
I'm a little worried we're just gonna dual attack every single time now, though. We can handle this. Ooh, nice! Not half bad. Two people I wanted to give XP. In fact, I'm just gonna do this. There we go. Okay, Donald, there's a the thing. Woo, a bit of extra practice. Tougher than plow in the fields any day. Oh, his weapon uh, proficiency improved. That's nice. Although I'm still unsure if I'm even going to make use of you. Because it seems like it would be hard to really get a villager going without the, uh, without grinding. Like, you'd be sacrificing a lot of other units XP to get this villager to work. All right, you two. Um... Yeah, I'll give it to those two. Although I could just give it to Donald for revenge of his family, but XP, it needs to go to the people I'm sure I'm going to use first. I don't really need to waste the killing edge here, but he does have 7% crit, so, uh, you know, fire emblem. Time them castle whelps learn what us wild born men can do. Nothing, because crit. This ain't where. Yeah, magic growth. Good job, Long Crew. Being very useful here. So I may not use Long Crew either. I don't know. Um, there's actually another Mirrodin in this game that I'm kind of curious about. So we'll see. We did it! We're rid of them, bandits, for good and all. Yes. A worthy first victory, Donnie. You fought well. Yeah. Ma, Ma, it's me. Oh. oh, Donnie, thank goodness you're safe. I was worried near to death, boy. I can't thank you enough for saving my son in our village, my lord. Donnie, where are your manners? Take a knee and thank his lordliness. I owe you. Er, I can't begin to repay all what you've done for us, sir. But thank you. No. You led the charge, Donnie. We picked off the stragglers. Own your potential and use it to keep this village safe. Hey. Well, wait, please. Hmm? Something wrong? I'm begging you. I has a request, sir, if it pleases your graceliness. Take me with you, my lord. Let me be a shepherd like you. I'm good with livestock, I am. Please, sir. What? Hush now, you fool boy. I can fight too. I want to hold my whatever he said. <laughs> I want to keep this place safe. I never thought I was good for nothing more than shoveling dirt. But my lord showed me there's more I can do. More I needs to be doing. Gods, help us. You needs to you needs to be knowing your place, boy. A farmhand's no fit for a royal. <laughs> Actually, we'd be thrilled to have him. The shepherds need every good man we can find, and your son fought bravely. Oh. You're so very kind to say as much, your lordshipness, but... Uh... Well, you're a grown man now, Donnie. Suppose you can make up your own mind. Oh, Ma. Safe journey. You just come home safe, love. I'll see that the village is still standing when you return a hero. Well, off with you. Then, glory's waiting, boy. Yeah. I ain't fighting for glory, Ma. I'm fighting for you. But if I do find some glory, I'll be sure to bring it home for you. Oh. Just come home alive, Donnie. <laughs> Every time someone has, like, a country accent, just, like, instant nephony in my mind. <laughs> okay, well, can I buy things without... You're selling a beast killer, but this guy's standing on top of you. I don't know how I'm gonna solve this problem without grinding. I guess I just won't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. That took a little longer than I thought, but I still had fun with it. Um, yeah. So we now have Donnie, who we'll take a look at in a second, because I don't think I really looked at him. And we have a bunch of supports we can do. Or Donald. Whatever. He's a villager. And if you don't know how villagers work, they are super weak and shitty units that have great, great potential. Um, they're kind of hard to justify using at times, because that requires you losing a lot of XP on your other units. 
and I don't really have any affinity for Donnie, honestly. Um, I think he's cool. Uh, but there's a lot of units in this game, especially the child ones that I just... I don't know about. I don't know how I'm gonna use them, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Donnie, too. Anyways, we have a few supports before I end this episode. Hey. Oh, hey, Sully. Hey. Hello, Krom. Hmm? Where are you taking all that equipment? Would you like some help? Yeah. Pff, this is nothing. I'm just trying to clean up around this crap hole. Good. Seems like every time I see you, you're working like there's no tomorrow. Just try not to overdo it, alright? It's not worth it if you wear yourself out. <laughs> wear myself out? <laughs> That's the point, Krom. This is part of my training regimen. What? You're training to clean a tent? Right. Gods, but you're so dense. I'm training my muscles. Legging stuff builds pure strength a hell of a lot faster than sparring. Also helps with balance and coordination, you know, all that crap. <laughs> really? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Plus, the tent gets clean. Yeah. Yeah, I've always been efficient like that. Any chance to train is a chance I'll take. Hm. I bet you built up some real strength. How about a little demonstration? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Come at me, little man. Just don't start crying when I wipe the floor with you. Okay. Well, that's fun. Oh, I have another one with Muriel already. Wow, these supports build so quickly. I forgot how fast they build up in the 3DS games. But then again, I also really like that because I hate just having to stand around next to people for turns and turns and turns and turns, waiting forever just to hear a few lines of dialogue. Oh, blast! My item pouch is gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. Hmm? Is, is this the object in question? Oh. Oh, yes. Thanks, Muriel. I keep it tied to my belt, but it's always falling off for some reason. Hmm. Such actions are indicative of a pervasive downward force exerted on the object. My mother's book contained a passage espousing a similar theory. Um. So, uh, I have no idea what you just said, but can I have my money back now? Fascinating. Ah, yes. Here's the passage in question. On all objects, there acts a force which pulls them groundward. Though invisible, without apparent cause, it exists nonetheless. Is she talking about gravity? <laughs> I, I posit that it is by this principle we remain rooted to the ground. Yeah, she's talking about gravity. Most intriguing. Hey. Uh, Muriel. Or, sorry, Muriel, hello? Right. Yet birds fly unencumbered by this force. The sun and stars and clouds do not fall. What explains these acceptations? Um. Uh, Muriel. Muriel! <sighs> What? Oh. So sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You were just kind of talking to no one. Yes. My respiratory function ceased for a moment. This is very disruptive. Please do not scatter my thoughts further. Sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. That's quite enough. I require a period of quiet solitude to marshal my thoughts. Farewell. Oh. Well, wait, my money, though. <laughs> she just runs off with Onex's stuff. Okay, well, uh, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, it helps out a lot. And share the video with your friends and tell them how cool I am, even if that's a lie. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, see you next time. Right now.